Okay, thank you very much. What do you think? So, you know, creating platform versatility to answer those desires is absolutely critical, even if it's for pure exhilaration. That's right, every part of the company will benefit from this new platform, and that includes GR. But more about that later. In the meantime, I'd like to hand you over to Nakata-san. Thank you, Simon. Good afternoon, everybody. I believe the role and vision of Toyota globally is well understood. At Toyota, we believe we contribute a lot to the future of mobility, and we will continue on this path by focusing on electrification, intelligence, and diversity. As President Sato said recently, the future is something that we all create together. Let's change the future of the cars. In Europe, we have the same vision. And in key area, like environment, we are leading the way. For instance, here in Europe, we are going faster towards carbon neutrality than the global Toyota organization. Stakeholder expectation towards the business have increased and regulation are getting stricter. But most importantly, and most powerfully, it's consumer sentiment that is driving change. This is happening globally, but it's happening faster here in Europe. You probably feel this yourself. Let me ask you, are you making more environmentally conscious decisions compared to five years ago? You are not alone. 87% of European consumers believe there is an urgent need to address climate change. But of course, the situation country by country is different. That's why Toyota's approach is to be the best in town. This means we aim to positively contribute to the environment of each region, country, or city by providing the right solution to meet local needs. More than 50 countries means more than 50 solutions towards carbon neutrality. This is why Toyota believes in the positive impact of the multi-pass approach to carbon reduction. Last year, Toyota was certified by SBTA as meeting the 1.5 degrees standard for its global scope one and two reduction target. This gives independent confirmation that we are on the right path to meet our global carbon neutrality commitment for 2050. In Europe, we announced last year that we expect to be fully carbon neutral here by 2040, 10 years earlier than global Toyota. There are several key steps in your journey. The first step covers step one and two where by 2030. All of our own facilities, including offices, L&D facilities, warehouses, and manufacturing plants will be carbon neutral. The next step related to scope three. By 2035, we will have a lineup with 100% CO2 reduction. And then by 2040, we will have achieved full carbon neutrality in logistic and value chain. Last year, we highlighted a number of examples of what we are doing 
achieve carbon neutrality in our facilities. This includes the use of 100% green electricity and biogas for heating. We are also moving forward with scope three carbon reduction. For instance, here in Belgium, we are just about to start using hydrogen fuel cell trucks on four of our key logistical routes, including across the borders into France, Germany, and Netherlands. Not only does this approach reduce carbon emission to zero, but it also has the effect of stimulating the hydrogen refueling infrastructure. We believe the carbon reduction benefit of scaling this approach to the thousands of logistic routes across Europe could be huge. Let me also highlight the average CO2 emission of our new cars. Historically, we have delivered the lowest corporate average fuel economy figures in Europe and have consistently beaten the EU targets thanks to widespread availability of our hybrid technologies. Now, as we move towards 2035, we are determined to remain ahead of the curves. This is where the power of our much pathway approach to carbon reduction can be seen. No matter which country or environment the customer is in, Toyota has the right technology today and tomorrow to make sure they can choose a low emission solution. Mobility for all, leaving no one behind are two fundamentals of who we are and what we have consistently aimed to achieve. This philosophy highlights that Toyota's approach to carbon reduction is not just about tomorrow. It's also about today. And perhaps more importantly for the environment, it was also about yesterday. At this point, I believe it's important to say that even though we will continue to offer much carbon reduction technologies, we will also steadily increase the number of zero emission vehicles we offer to customers. By 2026, we will offer consumers the choice of around 15 ZEVs under the Toyota brand. This, of course, includes the six dedicated battery EVs we previously confirmed for launch by 2026. BZ2X was the first. Following a number of Kaizen actions, the BZ2X is now performing well in market. Its key attributes of a confident drive spacious packaging, and improved range visibility, as seen by increasing number of customers as appealing. The result is that BZ4X is now building its sales plan, and in Norway, where EVs are dominating, it's number three in segment with a 15% market share. Now, turning to the six by 26 plan, let me give you an update. Last year, we showed you the compact SUV. With a smaller footprint, it's clearly a vehicle intended for the important C-segment in Europe. 